So when a person, especially in these very challenging, but at the very same time, very uplifting times, when people are investing in weird things, for example, crypto, that that is basically a ma mathematical algorithm. There is no value to it unless you put the value in it. Even gold has got only referential value, but it has got a referential historical value. So it is the base of all the currencies. The most gold your country has, the stronger your currency is. But crypto, etc., are backed just by the greed of the people and marketing. So we live in very strange times and these strange times are making people, all of us, lose our balance. And that makes it very, very important for anyone who has any spiritual inclination to double, treble, 10 times increase our efforts because spirituality means creating a contrast to the others. 99% of the world is now purely materialistic, pragmatic, very pragmatic. But at the end of the day, pragmatism is going to say, do whatever it takes to make money. While spirituality is focusing on your heart, serving the universe, believing in prayers, and being unconditional in giving, and therefore fearless. Fear comes when we have an expectation and we get a negative result. But when we see all the results on the planet, even if it is death, is a positive result. Then this fear of the contrast that there is something bad is going to be happening, something bad can happen to me, etc. That leaves us. The world around is always going to be changing. No matter how much we succeed in it, one fine day we will be leaving the body and we will be leaving all the things that we have on this planet except for the lessons of unconditional love that will be with us at a spiritual level, taking us to a higher soul. So we have three levels. The body level in which most of the people operate and which is very pragmatical and thinking about money. We save $5, we become happy, we lose two cents because the sale closed, we feel unhappy and our life is, we are like yo-yos. Save money happy, not save money unhappy. So our money becomes controlled by the flow of money. And money is always going to be flowing very erratically. People are going to be spending all their lives, very super intelligent people, but not emotionally or spiritually intelligent, but materialistically very super genius people all spending all their lives on how to make more money. And at times, with that focus on how to make more money, they serve the universe. They serve the universe, leaving a legacy which is rich. But their primary intention may be egoistical or whatever, but it worked out. The universe will always work it out. But us as people will always be cheated by death and by the material world. No matter what we have, no matter how healthy we are, no matter how much we have got, one fine day, a deal will come through in which we will leave everything, the body, all the money that we have accumulated. And it will be like waking up. Whatever you had in your dream, previous dream, does not accompany you to the new dream. No matter what you had or you did not have, the moment we wake up, everything that we had on the planet has no value anymore, except for the acts of love that we have done via our life. So 
the material world, health, and all the money that we accumulate or do not accumulate are programmed to cheat us out of, so that we become free. Even death, therefore, is a freedom. The life on this planet is given not to indulge in our sensations, become super comfortable. We live 100 times more comfortable than our ancestors. And we, most of us live uh, much more in a stress mode and therefore much more miserably than our ancestors. They had free choices, rather restricted choices. We have, even if you want to buy a chocolate, now you have thousands of choices. So all that choices that we have are seemingly there, but it is the same sugar and calories coated with various flavors and marketing slogans and images that are sold, but it is all the same calories. So we are living in particular times when there are illusions upon illusions upon illusions. Illusion means that it is not a shared reality. It can be a shared, yes, we can go together, go to this market and see, oh, there's so much amount of choices. But all that is changing. We know that the world is just a ball of earth hanging in the universe, spinning rapidly, going towards no one knows where. It's held in place because the sun also attracts it. And the sun is also attracted by something. So all these powers of gravity, gravity is balancing each other out. Just holding them at a distance so that there is life on the planet. But in reality, in the universe, there is no such thing as static. There is no such thing as which is not moving, including molecular. Universes are expanding. Molecules are changing. Security means that having a fixed outcome. There is no such thing. The only thing fixed on the planet is our soul, which is a witness. It is watching the huge movie, the director of which is the soul. The actor is the personality. The personality operates through the medium of the body. The personality is restricted by the environment, by thinking, sometimes even by past life thoughts. So it is your, it is our mask. Persona, from the Greek word, mask. The body will die. The personality hopefully keeps on changing. And the spirit moves from one body to another. And the soul is everywhere and nowhere. And it's this, the soul which is the substratum that makes everything move. If two things are moving then at the same speed especially, then there is nothing moving. But if everything is moving, there is something underneath. Like the train which is moving, there is a rails, track of rails on which the train is able to move. That track of rails for the spirit and the body is the soul. Fundament. And there is a materialistic world of shared reality. Okay, you also live in the same world. I also live in the same illusory world in which everything is changed. But at a soul level, our souls providing the substratum A is one. Think of the soul as the whole of your body. And everything and everyone is different parts of the body. Someone is a part of the liver, someone is part of the kidney, someone. And if the soul says to the heart, hey, you belong to me, you and me, we are the one, the heart may not be able to understand. The heart will say, no, 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 I see only blood and I see another organ called stomach is doing very bad things to the food. It takes good food and changes it to God knows what. 
stop it from doing that, then only I will accept that in the universe there is a balance. And you will say, if I do that, you also will suffer, my dear heart. Your heart may, may, will have to accept it only via faith. Heart can say, I want to see you. But if a heart is taken out of the body, it will die within three or five seconds. So, and even if the heart was to see your body, will it understand what it's all about? We are all inside a system which is a part of our soul. So spirituality means focusing on the soul and the spirit. So that means defocusing from the body, defocusing from the mind with all its thoughts, defocusing from your intellect with all its thought patterns. Essentially, that is what it is. Focusing on Om Namo Shivaya. Om Namo Shivaya means I see God in you, me, everything, everyone. The art of doing that, there's so many types of meditation. <clears throat> Our meditations in this group are focused on changing our personality so that we become fearless givers of joy to balance out the rest of the world which is just becoming consumers and everyone is looking for happiness and love, not knowing that our true nature is happiness and love. So it is like each one of us is an ocean saying, I want more water. Can that be? And water, of course, is the love some people think that if we have enough money or enough sex, then that is the love. But these are just body satisfaction. You have them, good. You don't have them. Move on. So closing eyes. The specific meditation technique that we practice in the group is focusing on Om in the center of the forehead, the third eye, or seeing the flame of golden divine love in the heart. Sometimes we combine both. So focusing on the third eye, close your eyes so that the intent is I unfocus from the physical world which I take in, which I eat, which I absorb with my eyes. I close my hearing to only listen Om Namo Shiva. I close my eyes to only see God inside me. I close all my organs of perception to focus on the golden light in the center of my heart. Breathing is the first and the last act. So it is the bridge between the physical and the spiritual. When I say Om, gently breathing through the nose. Om. Namo. Focus on your heart. Maintain the breathing in your heart. Shiva become one with God, spreading love, light and laughter everywhere. So Om, breathing, Namo, focusing on your heart, seeing your, that your heart is a temple of joy, God in any form. Om, see Jesus, Ram, Buddha, Krishna, Mother Mary, Allah, whichever form of God you love, see it in your heart with Namo. Namo means not me, but God inside me and you. Shiva become one with the infinity of the substratum of the universe, the creator in everything and everywhere. Om, breathing, Om, Namo, Shiva. Gently breathe out as if you are praying. Pretend to be breathing out from your heart and letting go. Letting go of all your pain, fear, anger, doubts from the past so that your inner universe your body is full of golden light Om Namo Shivam Om Namo Shivam Om Namo Shivam Om Namo 
ماشي ما Breathing in, start to breathe in from the crown. Sucking in the blessings of the universe. Everyone is connected to the, to the creator via the seventh energy center, the, the Sahasra, the crowning glory. So breathe in through the third eye, not through the third eye now, but through the crown. Sucking in the blessings flowing from the universe. When you have sent love, light and laughter, immediately our contact or blessings with the universe are activated. Oh, reaching the heart and then from your heart you are blessing everything and everything, especially the people you have, people that have hurt us, so that you become enlightened. Oh, Namo Shiva. See a heart smiling as it serves the universe. It becomes more and more smiling. The more it smiles, the more it lets go of your own personal traumas and pain, fear, anger from the past. Because right now, you are a golden divine soul power. Oh, with the mission to spread love, light and laughter. Oh. Om Namo Shiva. Spreading love, light and laughter to our ancestors. And some of us are reborn to the same lineage. So we are when we are sending love, light and laughter to our ancestors, our body balances out. But we are also doing self-healing of our limited personality, which has fears, anger, pain, Doubts, judgments. Om Namo Shiva. See yourself as a golden light in the temple of your heart with an open door, blessing everything and everyone. You are the Mother Mary, you are Jesus, you are Buddha, you are Rama, you are Krishna, you are Shiva, you are Durga. Oh, Namo Shiva. Praying for our mother and father biology.
ओ नमो सी देम एज जॉय सी देम इन योर हार्ट सी देम रिसीविंग योर गोल्डन लव removing and you are removing there by all your judgments and and you're full of love and gratitude for the source of your biological life om namo all the male energy all the mothers all the fathers you're praying for them we are praying for them right om namo ओ नमो शिव इन द होली फायर ऑफ योर हार्ट बर्न आउट ऑल योर एंगर एंड जजमेंट्स एट योर पेरेंट्स व्हेन यू हैव बर्न ऑल योर एंगर एंड जजमेंट एट योर पेरेंट्स देन ओनली यू कैन हैव अ रिलेशनशिप विद द ऑपोजिट सेक्स और विद हु यू ओ नमो ओ नमो शिवा नाउ दैट यू हैव नो एंगर एट योर पेरेंट्स नॉर एट एनी मेल और फीमेल एनर्जी नाउ वी आर सेंडिंग लव टू ऑल द पीपल हु हैव हर्ट अस इन एनी वे इन आवर पास प्रेजेंट एंड फ्यूचर लाइफ ओ नमो see them as being joy see the blessing that they gave you via the loss that they caused om namo shiva see your hurt of the past and see all your traumas being removed by sending love to the source of that anger or loss om namo shiva नमो 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 नाउ दैट यू हैव नो एंग now we can take our lower physical sexual lust energy to your heart and it becomes pure unconditional love then we can shoot it up to the head so that it becomes devotion to god seeing god in everything and everyone including the people who hurt us and incidents om press your stomach oh namo in your heart opens like a flower an open heart is what is kundalini shiva in the head it's pure devotion your whole universe is full of devotion om namo shiva you are like a tree om namo shiva all the branch all your brain cells are like tree leaves and each one of them is now full of golden light you are like the sun burning for others father sun you are like the earth supporting our others unconditionally you are able to take your sexual energy to your heart and to your head om namo shiva expanding so that the consciousness escapes your personality your mind your intellect your body the universe your consciousness expands expands to infinity om namo shivam om namo shivam om namo in total in total silence see yourself in the past life and remove all your traumas right now your consciousness is free of your body you can see your past life maybe in a micro picture maybe in a big picture 
but you become free of all your past life and past traumas of this life and even future traumas by blessing everything and everyone. Om Namo Shiva Om Namo Shiva Om Namo Shiva Om Namo Shiva In total silence, heal yourself by sending blessings, seeing everything in your consciousness and see everything as joys. That is how you are sending blessings. We are sharing the blessings of the universe with everyone in the group. So everyone becomes a fearless giver of joy, love, light and laughter to others. That is what enlightenment means. Giver, not a seeker of happiness and comfort for others, but seeker of joy. And joy is only for those who give to others, unconditionally, without expecting any, so that there is no fear, there is no judgment. See, everyone with having God inside them as Jesus hidden. See yourself also as a with your godliness inside you. Do not see yourself as a person. Om Namo Shiva. 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 Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shiva, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shakati, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shajin, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shai Marina, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shai Paris, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shai Briti. Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shivai, Rita. And we'll do three Mahamritin Jays for Rita's father. Om Trem Bakamayam, Suvannim Pushti Vardhanam, Murva Rukhnan, Vityur Mukshim Mahamritam. Om Trem Bakamayam, Suvannim Pushti Vardhanam, Murva Rukhnan, Vityur Mukshim Mahamritam. Om Trimba Kumayami, Suvandim Pushti Yardana Murva Rupnan, Rityur Mukshim Mahatam. Probably, Rita, your father will, things will change in the next two and a half weeks. So, 17, 18 days and go for, like be prepared for any change. Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shivai, Om Namo Shivai.
ओम सर्वे भवंत सुखिन सर्वे शांति निराम सर्वे भद्राधि पश्यंत मा कुश्यत्ते ओम मस्तो मा सदमे तमसो मा ज्योतिर्म मृत्यु मा मुक्ति ओम भूर्भुवस्व तत् सवितोरिण्यम भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो ना प्रचोदयन ओ पूर्ण मधि पूर्ण मधे पूर्ण पूर्ण दर्चते पूर्ण से पूर्ण में इधा पूर्ण में वाविशिष्ट ओम शांति 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 ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम ओम तत्सत हरि ओम टुमारो सिक्स पीएम